Will Ramsey, Texas on the New South Wales Queensland border. We farm mixed cropping, generally cotton and corn. We live in a relatively populated area, so we're finding it harder and harder to use planes with neighbouring properties. So uh, we wanted to find a solution. Rather than an aeroplane, we chose to use drones for a myriad of reasons, including compaction, crop damage, all types of things. Uh, we've done one season with the drones, so uh, one summer cropping season. No, I had never used a drone in my life prior to uh, prior to getting these. Quite exciting, really. It wasn't uh, very hard to make the change, really. It's a press button operation for the best part. Other than small technical issues from time to time, it's quite easy. Yeah, we looked at both the major brands, including XAG. Uh, we found that XAG was a much better ag drone. It was more efficient, it was faster. It just suited our needs more than having a good camera or a, uh, it was just basically a lot faster and a lot more efficient to use. The specs were a lot better when we put them side by side. Oztec were great. They came out and delivered the, uh, the drone, spent a day here with us training and have been available on the phone whenever we've needed them for any technical help so and spare parts for that matter. So they've been excellent. We're using them predominantly for a summer cropping program. We grow corn and cotton. The best part about them is that we can spray our country straight behind a rain change or straight behind an irrigation so we don't have to worry about muddy ground uh, and that is the biggest benefit of using them for sure is uh, being able to spray at the correct time. Yes I would absolutely recommend the XAG drones to anyone they've been a, a revolution for us and I'd recommend them to anyone doing any type of farming really they've been uh, they've been fantastic. I thought it'd be a step backwards because you know I thought it'd be cumbersome and, and slow but what's really surprised me me is the speed that we can get the spraying done. We run two XHG drones at the same time and we can cover an exceptional amount of country in a short amount of time. So that was what surprised me the most and, and it's probably what turned me off for such a long time as I thought they were very inefficient but that's not right at all. I'll look forward to using the new P150. As far as the drones that I use, I look forward to the connectivity between the controller and the drone being better which I understand has already happened with the P150. We've had the drones since December 24 and between then and when our season finished in March we sprayed approximately three and a half thousand hectares.